Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ronnie. It's another episode of Pussycat Nation. I know it's been a while. Last time I spoke to you guys, it was New Year's Eve. Well, hey, I, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Before we get started, can you please? Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, press the like button or the dislike button, depending on how you feel about the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, leave comments, negative or positive. You know, it's all welcome. And um, enjoy my video today. Today, look what I have. I have a seafood boil. It's basically king king crab legs. Some spiky things hurt. Um, it's shrimp. The reason why the shrimp this this color is because I marinated it in jerk seasoning. I didn't do it how everybody else do their seafood boil. I have some little baby potatoes, only about eight, and I have three boiled eggs. See the egg? Yeah, three boiled eggs, and I have some some carrots, and I have this. It's a grape juice. I got it from the H Market. Um, they opened up a new one in Little Ferry um, over there by across the street from White Castle and Dunkin Donuts off of Bergen Turnpike. So I brought these. They didn't have the other ones that I had, but I hope these taste just as good. And I have some water, 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 because this stuff is spicy. My daughter says it's not spicy, but I think it's spicy. It's very spicy. And, um, it tastes good. So, um, how's your New Year's been so far? I know a lot has gone on, you know, with the insurrection that went on in Washington on the 6th. It's kind of sad and depressing, right? Because, um... Stuff like this shouldn't be happening on U.S. soil. And um, it's a shame that people aren't able to, you know, get along with each other. Or if not get along, just be able to agree to disagree, as I would always say. No, I'm not going to talk about what happened um but you just i just wanted to mention that it's just sad i mean it would be nice if we were able to unify you know just to get you know the economy going and to get the coronavirus and everything under control without you know all this other stuff coming up so that's all i'm going to say about that so Oh, and we have a new president. Yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Um, they always say the first 100 days, like how they do in school, and grammar school, the first 100 days, that's what they're going to do. I'm going to start with an egg. I, have, I do have stuff to talk about. I'm going to start with an egg. This is a raw egg. It's not a fake egg. It's a real boiled egg. And it has the seasoning and stuff on the outside. I'm using the gloves because I don't want the stuff all underneath my, my fingernails. Um, what I did was I used jerk seasoning. Like I said, you know, the Jamaican jerk seasoning. I used an entire onion. I use red pepper, 
flakes, you know, the crushed red pe pepper flakes. I used some adobo. You can never go wrong with adobo. I used some cayenne pepper. I used the budak chicken sauce. You know, the chick, the hot sauce, the budak hot sauce. I used... Um, I used some tobacco sauce because my daughter said it wasn't hot enough. Um, I don't know. I, I, when, when I was cooking it, you know, I was taste testing it and it was hot. I don't know what's wrong with her taste bud, but it was hot to me. And I use, you know how you have the block of butter? It looks like a, it looked like a gold bouillon cube, you know, in Fort Knox or something. I use half a half a half of that because I can't see myself putting four, five, six, eight sticks of butter inside of this. Um, I have enough health issues, and what is it? Clogging my arteries isn't like on my agenda of like things that's wrong with me. So um, I don't want to do that. Yeah. What I've been up to lately, well, I'm just going to say, yesterday I thought I was going to have an episode because I felt really bad. My stomach, not because I ate anything, because I didn't really eat anything yesterday. But I just thought I was going to have an episode. And that's just how. You know my life is sometimes as far as um you know me being unwell and me trying to get myself healthy uh, oh did i tell you that i have king crab eggs shrimp i have um three squid rings and that's it really so Took a bite of a potato. Okay, the potato is good. My daughter doesn't want any potatoes. The reason why I don't have corn in here is because my daughter is allergic to corn. So I don't make we don't put corn and stuff anymore. Got some carrot sticks. They're raw. So I like that crunch. Not an ASMR, but it sounds like ASMR, right? Hey. So, um, what I've been up to also is um, college. My daughter's going to college in um, September. It's gonna be she's just gonna be her freshman year at Felicia University. I'm very excited. And she graduates this um. This June, June something, just 2021. College is very expensive. It is. It's a crab claw. Um, I did what I did. Ugh. Oh, nothing came out. I cut most of it when um before I started cooking it because um. These pointy things, they hurt. And I didn't want to hurt myself. So I had cut, I had pre-cut them so that it would be easier to, um, so it would be easy to eat. It tastes good. It really does. I have a bag on the floor. It tastes really good. Um. I don't know. I guess one day they'll make smell -o vision TV so that people could smell it when you're cooking. My mouth is on fire though. <coughs> mouth is on fire. So, um, college is very expensive. I think the cheapest school that I saw was Montclair State University. I think 
I think the whole thing, if you live in state, was like um, twenty eight. I think it was like twenty eight thousand dollars for Montclair. That's in state. If you're living on campus, if you're out of state, it was more. She's yeah. So that's the cheapest one I saw. Grandma Pa was very expensive. You look at almost seventy thousand dollars for Grandma Pa College. I like wow. No wonder. You know, young adults and some and some regular adults who decide to go to school, you know, have high student loan bills. It's high. It's expensive. It's not good. Oh my god. The school she's going to, it's expensive too, but it's a good nursing school. I might have mentioned it before. I think back in October, we went to have a tour to school. The school is beautiful. Yeah, the castle, police in, in Rutherford, New Jersey. It's good. See, I don't want all this stuff on my hands underneath my nails. So, you know. What else I'm going to talk about? It's been cold as hell lately. It's been freezing. Um, sometimes here, the heat wants to work. And sometimes, the heat doesn't work. So, uh, last night, it didn't want to work. Oh, that's, um, what? Some garlic. I don't know if the garlic's really cook. If the, if the garlic's cooked well, I just eat the garlic. But, my nose is running. If it's that garlicky taste, I'm not going to eat it. But, if it's blended well with, um, food, I just eat it. My nose is running. But that's because, oh man, I hope that don't get all over my desk. Yeah. So, it's cold outside. And we don't have baseball heat, or we don't have the pipes with the heat. We have um, radiators. And trust me, they suck. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling the radio, the radi, the radiators. I don't, I don't like radiators. I didn't cut this one. I don't know. Oh man. Oh, I did cut it. It's just these freaking spiky shits. Ugh. The spiky shits is like whoa. It's not. Ugh. Oh my god. And then I want it. To be able to get all the meat. Oh, it's a little piece of meat. But still. It's good. But yeah, it's cold in here. I woke up shivering. Well, maybe that's why I thought I was going to have an episode last night. Because how cold it was in here. I don't know if you're going to think this is a good video or not. Because um, I'm eating. My mouth is on fire. Boy, is it on fire. I'm going to drink some water. I like to crunch the carrot. The water. The water is cold. I had just got out the refrigerator not too long ago. Look at this one. You see, that's um, jerk seasoning and garlic and onion on it. It's good. Its taste is really good. Really, really, uh, really good. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm trying not to hurt myself. <laughs> I don't want to hurt myself. Because, like I said, this spiky shit is no good. 
Okay, look at this. Oh, I got like a peppercorn in my mouth. Look at that. That's a good piece of meat, right? You know, excuse me, the funny thing about it is this is the first time that I'm having How do people put lemon on this? Oh my god. It's not that tasty with lemon. Ugh. I see them. Ugh. I see them put lemon on it on YouTube. Ugh. It makes it sour. Oh my god. supposed to be sour oh my god but you still saw me going for it well there's food but still this is sour too sour you know what I want to do one day because you know growing up when you eat crab I didn't really eat crab I had dabbled with shrimp a little bit, but I didn't really eat crab growing up because um, sometimes I would have a reaction. It depends. Sometimes I would have a reaction. I'm not having a reaction now. I had tiger shrimp and I had a very bad allergic action. But then I started to buy Walmart shrimp and I didn't have a reaction. So, um, you know how you see other YouTubes like the YouTube is from uh, <coughs> it's still sour. The YouTube is from from Asia, from the Middle East. How they how they um eat the head of the crab or the lobster. I don't like lobster, so you'll never see me eat lobster. I think lobster. I don't know. It's disgusting. It tastes like rubber. Ah, don't get on my floor. To me, oh shit. I'm gonna have to clean the wall. Clean on the wall. To me, lobster tastes like rubber. So I don't like lobster. But you know how they be opening the head of the lobster, the crab, and they got that green or yellow or orange or beige stuff that look like poopy and stuff. Um, I don't know. They they eat it like it's you know like it's no big thing. So one day I think I'm going to try to eat the inside, you know, the body part. I don't know what it'll taste like. I might not like it. I might like it. I don't know. But I see them eat it all the time. Um, they have no problem. Okay. I'm only doing it just for this video. I don't think you will ever see me put lemon on there again. It's really sour. Oh my god. I'm trying to kill me. Oh, I'm trying to kill myself. <laughs> oh. This is the squid ring. Ring. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh. I'll clean it. I got um Lysol wipes and Clorox wipes. Shit. You see the garlic on there and the onions? Squid ring. Oh. I like squid. I like calamari. Um, I like the rings better than the little tiny. I don't like the ones with the tentacles. Could remind me of um 
a bug or something. But, do you know that the Bible says, I'm not trying to get religious enough or anything, that we're not supposed to eat crab, lobster, shrimp, catfish, or flounder, whatever bottom feeder in the ocean or in the lakes. Reason being, crayfish or crawfish, however you want to pronounce it, reason being, they're considered like bugs of the water or the ocean or whatever. And um, God put so much food on here, you know, on this earth for us to choose from that we really shouldn't be eating um you know food like this because um again it's not necessary for us to eat us and they eat they eat trash in the garbage they eat dead things they eat poopy they eat algae and slush have you ever seen algae i watch um what they call it national geographic a lot so i see what algae looks like so yeah i have another potato see see all the so see this isn't like um like the sauces that you guys make on from other youtubers it's not like um be love sauce or dame dash sauce or kitty q sauce or whoever else out there and YouTube man who makes sauce. It's just the plain sauce. Like I said, I as I mentioned the ingredients. There's no tomatoes in it because my daughter can't eat tomatoes. She's also allergic to tomatoes. Yeah, so this is plain sauce. The reason why it's so red or so dark is because of the spices. Look, my daughter's part Caribbean. And um, her Caribbean side comes out when it comes to eating food. So she likes her food spicy. I'm 100% American. So I be dying when um, I make food sometimes. I don't mind it because I like it. But it's just so damn hot. And... Jerk seasoning is very hot. <clears throat> so jerk seasoning mixed with the bodak seasoning, the Korean bodak seasoning, was very hot. So, yeah. Oh, God. My nose. My nose is like, whoa. Uh, my nose is like, ugh. I know I'm not gonna eat this all, all of this. There's a lot. It was two clusters. Um, yes, I treated myself. It was two clusters. Normally I would never, but I treated myself because um, after I had, because you don't understand. Again, I'm gonna say it. pain or if you have a child that's graduating high school, it's expensive. You gotta pay for a yearbook. You gotta pay for cap and gown. You gotta pay for um, yearbook, cap and gown. Um, something else I pay for. Pictures. Excuse me. I know you have to pay for pictures. You gotta pay for graduation pictures. And since school is closed because of COVID, you have to go to the photography studio and get the pictures done. So, I didn't know that to get them daggone pictures is going to cost me a freaking f small fortune. So, and the thing about it is how I did it, what I did was, you know how we all got our stimulus checks and everything? I used my stimulus on, you know, my daughter's graduation. And... Um, I help pay down some of my medical bills because um, my insurance don't cover all of my medical bills. So, <coughs> let me move on, man. So, um, I use that to pay for some of my medical bills. Um, 
Yeah, because I, I don't want my medical bills could, to get out of control. So, I use that stimulus to pay for medical bills to prepare for my daughter's graduation. And... And to um, well, I brought this. Well, I didn't have to buy this, but I always wanted to try it because um, I always see YouTubers, you know, they're eating it. And you need the seafood boil and this and that. So I said, let me try it. And the <laughs> only thing I can say about it is um, it's expensive. So it's not like something that a person like me on a fixed income could like do over time. It's like no way. If I was to buy this out at um, the Real Hook, because there's a um a place called Real Hook or Red Real Hook. It's a seafood place on um, Broad Broadway. In Jersey and um, it's you know I, it's expensive it's like three dollars for two eggs when you could um, buy a dozen of eggs from shot right off front no you could get 18 eggs from Walmart for like three dollars or yeah so and then you had to pay for Sausage and shrimp with the head on. I tried to clean shrimp with the head on one time. It had the eyes, the black beady eyes. It had the the veins or the sand line or the shit line. I don't know what it's called. They have one at the bottom with the top. Got Pull the head off and there's a bunch of guts and stuff in there. That wasn't my thing. So, I get, um, I want that with the head on. So, um, ah, shit! That hurt. Ow. I was trying not to get stuck by the tent to rudder. By these things. You see this? These shits hurt. When I was cutting it, when I was cutting them open, I used this. It's a um a mitt in the kitchen. I was putting the the pointy part here so I could cut it. Shit hurts. Oh my god. So and then uh, yeah, it hurts. So Anybody who says it doesn't hurt, the devil is a lie, okay? The devil is a lie if they say it don't hurt. But, I don't know. This video is probably going to, it's probably going to be two videos because I don't know the capacity of the space on the phone. I mean, I did buy a little cheapy camera, but, um... A little chibi camera it doesn't really you know it doesn't do what it is that I needed to do so it was kind of like a waste of money so I just gotta wait until I'm able to buy you know a good quality camera I mean I like my phone I like my phone and the quality of my phone it's just um the video, the video doesn't last long. Oh God! If you're wondering a lot, if you're wondering about how the crab tastes, the crab itself is sweet. It's spicy. All of them, <laughs> excuse me, all the spices that's in there. 
looks like oh, sweet <laughs> and spicy at the same time. Oh, let me eat another egg. Oh, it's good. I think anything that you make from home is always better than the restaurant. Only way I think it might not be better is um if it's an expensive restaurant and I haven't been to an expensive restaurant and In ages, I think the last time I was at a expensive restaurant was, uh, you know, the Japanese restaurant Kiko's and um, Old Japan. That's the last time that was like a few years back. Kiko's was good for. I didn't pay for it because I ain't got that kind of money. Um, these very well off individuals that I knew at the time, um, they paid for it. It was like six people was like almost five hundred dollars. So I was like, oh my god, if I had to pay for that myself, it would never happen. My part of my rent wouldn't be paid. Mm -mm. If I had to pay for that by myself, oh my god! <laughs> so, mm -mm. so, yeah. So it's like if you can make stuff on your own. Or I'm not saying go break, you know, go break your budget or break your bank or something, because I would never break my budget or anything because I know I have things to do. Rent's not cheap. Cell phone's not cheap for two lines. Okay, um, wi is not cheap. Uh, car insurance not cheap. Food's not cheap. Um, gas and electric. You know, there's a whole lot of things and like I said, you have, and you have personal bills. Be it, excuse me, if you have a car note, that, especially if it's a new car, that's definitely like not cheap. Car insurance on the new car, through the roof, especially in certain areas in New Jersey. Um, if you have medical bills, I have medical bills, so, um, I know that's not cheap. Um, 